Hello and welcome again. The IB Biology exam for May 2025. It's happening on May 12th and May 13th. That's just about 45 days from today. On May 12th in the afternoon, you'll be taking Paper 1A and Paper 1B together. If you're an HL student, this will be two hours long. If you're SL, it will be one hour and 30 minutes. And these papers will make up 36% of your final score. Then the very next day in the morning, you will be taking the all important paper two, which carries 44% of the final score. HO students, you will have two hours and 30 minutes. SL students, one hour and 30 minutes. Now, this year we have a brand new course and it's possible that your teacher might be saying the only way to prepare is with the specimen paper and we're not quite sure how the exam would be structured and it's all very confusing. Well, the good news is it's not quite as confusing. You see, formerly in the last version of the IB Biology Guide, there used to be the options and we used to have three papers, but the amount of time that is allocated for examination has remained the same. And some of those topics from the options have been integrated into your course syllabus. Soon as we go in and we take a look at that specimen paper, I'm going to show you a couple of questions, for example, from ecology that have now become a part of the core syllabus. In paper 1B, you'll be taking several questions that were formerly lined up with the prescribed practicals. I'm going to show you one in particular on osmosis. So to get access to similar types of questions for paper 1B, you should visit past papers, particularly those from 23 and 24 May and November exams. That would give you six exams that you can work with. And if you go in there and you do all of those questions from paper three, section A, you will find that they line up nicely with paper 1B. And of course, the multiple choice hasn't changed that much. So very useful for you to practice with all those past multiple choice papers. SL 30 questions, HL 40 questions, and your paper two aligns very much with the paper twos of the past, with the very first question being a long one based on data. Then you go into some short ones and then you get to section B, where you answer two questions out of a bunch if you are HL and one out of two if you are SL. So let's go in now to take a look at that specimen paper and to consider some tips for approaching this year's examination. So let's take a quick scroll through of the specimen exam for both HL and SL. So HL, paper 1A, 40 marks, and paper 1B, 35 marks. This paper will happen over a course of two hours. You will have access to move back and forth between section A and B and a total time of two hours. So you can use your time as needed. Usually students don't need more than about 30 or 35 minutes to finish the 40 multiple choice items. These items will line up with the course of the past. It's very useful, as I said, to do exams from 23 and 24 especially. Of course, there are a few questions in here that might not exactly line up because there are a few sections that belong to the options that are now a part of the course syllabus. I don't see any of those examples cropping up here so far in this specimen paper. So it's possibly here, this one on ecology number 32, which is which used to be part of the option on ecology. And here on um, different types of niche and on density independent factors. So ecology has been a bit expanded and those questions on ecology 
actually came out of the old options section. But here are the answers for these 40 multiple choice questions. And then in paper 1B, paper 1B actually lines up with paper 3, section A of the past, where there were seven prescribed practicals. I will attach my link to all the videos I made for the seven prescribed practicals. As you can see right here with number one, this deals with osmolarity, which used to be one of the required practicals in the old syllabus. And how you carry that out is required there. And this other one on, on an enzymes experiment. Enzymes used to be a part of that, one of those prescribed practicals also. And of course, other questions dealing with the core of the course this one dealing with um, rhizobium, which lives in root nodules. It lines up with the ecology section of the course and deals with some experimental methods. This one dealing with um, adenine to guanine ratios and thymine to cytosine ratios, purines and pyrimidines. A bit of data analysis there. And then paper two. Of course, let's first look at the mark scheme here. Um, you can stop as needed. If you need a copy of this uh, document as a PDF, it is open access and it's not um, required for you to pay to acquire this document from the IB. It's provided for students to, to know what the exam looks like. So if you did not receive a copy from your teacher, just reach out to me at this email and I will be happy to share that with you. Now, paper two, it's 80 marks now, two and a half hours. It used to be 72 marks and two hours 15. So now a bit longer, but question one is always going to be based on some experimental procedure, usually lining up with some actual research paper, as you can see here, and a couple of graphs beneath each set of captions you come with questions that deal with those captions that have gone before and then another set of captions then another set of questions dealing with the most recent caption or diagram and then we go to a third graph here and questions on that and at the very end the questions will deal with all of the data like this part here so that's a very useful hint to have in approaching those data-based questions. Also important to have a good night's rest to dig in and analyze the data. And there's no harm to begin reading that during the reading time, especially. That is a good way to spend your five minutes of reading time. And then these are straightforward questions in line with content of the past. So you can certainly visit all the past papers, especially those over the last couple of years. And this one here deals with ecology, lines up with the options section of the past. Straightforward question on genetics and pedigree charts. Another one on genetics like that lines up with past papers. And these two questions here that you must select out of a total of three lining up with the procedures of the past. You should then write your answers on these additional bits of paper and you can ask for more paper if required. Here is the mark scheme. And for SL, your multiple choice is just 30 questions. Let's take a quick scroll through of that. And here are the answers. Then your experimental based section. Here you are required to draw a plan diagram of this transfer section of a dicot leaf. Of course, you should bear in mind that a plan diagram does not include actual cells. So all you need to do is to put in sections to represent the various layers like the cuticle and the palisade mesophyll and the spongy mesophyll of the leaf.
Here is the mark scheme. And of course, here is uh, paper two, which includes a different database question for SL students. And then a couple of short answer questions, a straightforward one here on DNA. Another one on cellulose. This one based on ecology. So and then section B where you answer one question. I think it's safe to advise all students to study the ecology section, which is now the biggest option part that's been integrated into the core syllabus. And you can certainly see that coming out here in the specimen paper. Apart from that, you should use all of your recent past papers just as you um, students have done in the past. There are no other examples of the exam besides this specimen paper and once you do that you'd be in a good place for this year's examinations and finally good luck to everyone in this year's examinations